Diagnosis according to Qi Shui Jin Ye imbalances. Qi Shu. Qi Shu. Any Zhang organ can be Qi Shu. But when there is a diagnosis of qi shu, there will usually be a shu condition in one or more of the qi producing organs, the lung, the spleen, and the kidneys. This does not mean that other organs cannot be qi shu. Heart qi shu is, for example, a very common pattern of imbalance. But in this case, the condition of qi shu is related to a specific organ's functioning and will, it will not necessarily affect the state of qi and the functioning of the body in general. When there is a diagnosis of qi shu, there is a systematic deficiency or lack of qi, and this is seen in the accompanying symptoms and signs in the whole body. When a specific organ is qi shu, there will be symptoms and signs that this organ is unable to perform its functions properly due to a lack of qi. This condition will though be differentiated as a zhang fu imbalance. A generalized condition of qi shu will arise when more qi is consumed than the body is able to produce. This may be due to overusing and straining qi, such as when there is illness, overwork, excessive sport and fitness training, ex excessive physical and mental activity, too much sex and lack of sleep. Qi shu will also arise when not enough food has been consumed or if the food that has been consumed and air that has been inhaled are poor of quality, so that sufficient qi to replenish the qi has been consumed is not produced. There could also be a deficiency or weakness of jing, the inherited essence that is the foundation of qi. Finally, qi shu can be due to weakness of one of the three qi-producing organs, a kidney qi shu, spleen qi shu, or lung qi shu, or a combination of these. The key symptom of qi shu is fatigue, but even though qi shu will always result in fatigue, not all fatigue is the result of qi shu or a shu condition at all. The fatigue will, manif will manifest both physically and mentally. Apart from the fatigue, the person may have a pale face. This is because there will be too little qi to send shui up to the head. That is why the tongue will also be pale. Fluids will not be transported and transformed as they should be. This will manifest with the tongue being swollen or having teeth marks on the sides. Qi is needed to maintain control of the pores in the skin. Therefore, if there is a lack of qi, there can be spontaneous sweating or perspiration on light activity. A person who is qi shu will often be short of breath and quickly become breathless. This is because the lung is too weak to disseminate qi. Zong qi can also be weakened, and this will be apparent when a person has a weak voice and a disinclination to talk. They can also have a sunken chest and poor posture, because zong qi is not strong enough to expand and open the thorax. The spleen is supposed to transform the food and beverages that are ingested. If there is spleen qi shu, the spleen will fail to perform these functions adequately. This can be seen when a person has a poor appetite and loose tools. Dizziness can also be seen where there is qi shu. This is because qi and shui are not able to ascend up to the head and nourish the brain. The pulse will be weak because there is not enough qi to drive shui through the vessels. Ideology Qi shu can arise when the body uses more qi than it is able to produce. This will be because the person places too great a demand on their qi or they are not able to produce sufficient qi. Qi can be burdened by working too much and too hard or by being too physically active. For example, by playing too much sport or doing too much fitness training as well as through excessive sex. Illnesses, both chronic and acute, will strain and weaken qi because qi is used to combat the qi qi but also because shi qi can disrupt the production of qi. The lung, spleen, and kidneys are all involved in the production of qi. If one of more of these organs are out of balance, it will affect qi production and thereby the qi levels in the whole body. For a more detailed explanation of the etiology of imbalances in these organs, please see the relevant parts of Section 8 on Zhang Fu imbalances. 
poor production of qi can also be due to the quality and quantity of the food and beverages consumed and poor quality air being breathed in. The person may be born jingshu, which will negatively affect the quality and quantity of their qi. Jingshu can also arise or be exacerbated if a man has too many ejaculations. Chronic qi shu and shui shu conditions will also deplete jing. Symptoms and signs are mental and physical fatigue, pale face, spontaneous sweating, sweating on light activity, poor appetite, loose stools, weak voice, reluctance to speak, dizziness, pale and swollen tongue, and weak pulse. Thank you for your attention.